I'd like to welcome everyone to this short lower body video workout. Um, you can use small weights anywhere from one to five pounds, whatever you're comfortable with. You don't need weights. You can have ankle weights if you want for the short portion of some of the leg workout. And we will have a warm up. The cardio slash lower body workout and then the cool down. And so further ado, let's begin. We'll begin with every move I do, I'll show you twice and then you'll be able to go with that as we repeat the uh, move. We're going to begin with um, a knee raise and touch your hands to your knee. It looks like this. I want the knees high and we'll begin with that knee raises and hand to the knee, alternating hands and knees. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, that's that. And now we're gonna do a dumbbell row and a kickback. So it looks like this. Your arms are gonna be nice and tight, make a fist. You're gonna kick your bum. And it looks like this, one, Two. Okay, so what we're going to do is that move, and we'll do it again 16 times, which is actually eight repetitions. So let's begin. One, and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Don't forget to drink lots of water. Stay hydrated. Pause the button if you need a break. Uh, there's no race here. You can do the whole video over again if you need to. We're going to carry on to the third warm up exercise, which is actually going to uh, be like like the airplane only a little bit more added to it so you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart arms out and you're going to go down to the left foot down to the right foot and then reach up and that's one so that was down to the left foot down to the right foot reach up that's two. Okay, let's begin. We'll do eight of those. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that again so we have a full eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. That's it for the warm up. We're going to start with the cardio portion of the lower body workout. We'll start with a lunge forward. Most importantly, feet are kind of shoulder width apart, hip width apart. You don't want to step so far forward that you're falling over. So where you're comfortable 
and you lunge, and when you lunge, the knee doesn't go past the toe. So it's like a step forward, then down, and then back. Now, you can have your hands on your hips. I like to use weight. These are just three. That's your choice. So when I take a step out with my right foot, I'll just show you first. One, two. Now also I have my hands tight, elbows tight to my side. My curls are nice and tight. My arms are nice and strong. Let's begin. We'll do the right leg first, just eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to turn around. So it's the same thing, just on the other side. So elbows in tight, make fists, keep your bicep curl nice and tight. And now I'm going to step out with the left foot. And it, your toe can't go past. Your knee can't go past your heel. So it looks like one, or past your toe, actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're done with that. Now we do a back lunge. This time I'm going to do a shoulder raise. So the same idea is you want to keep everything nice and tight. When you raise your arms, it'll be a noodle. You're going to step back like so. One, two, not so far back that you're falling over or tipping. There's nothing to prove here, just a nice, nice backward lunge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to turn around just the other side, just so that you can see it on the left side. You just view it better. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now set those weights down for a moment. I'm just going to grab some water. Let's hydrate. Always good to hydrate. We'll go on to our next move. And it's actually called a sumo squat. So your feet are a little bit wider than shoulder. I do like my weights now. Normally I would have a much heavier weight. But it's just a matter of opening my legs up nice and wide, wider than shoulder. And what we're going to do is we're going to squat down. And when we pull up, we squeeze our butt. So down, squeeze our butt. So let's do, let's try eight. One, two, remember to squeeze the butt. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's do eight more of those. That wasn't too bad. One, like you're sitting in a chair. Two, three, squeeze the butt up as you come. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want to try, we're done with that. Good job. We want to do what's called a split squat. So it looks like this. So you take a step forward. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your knee down as it is comfortable for you. 
you can go what's called halfway down, or your knee can drop right to the floor. So I'll show you. So it looks like this, and then be like this. One, two. Or you can modify it. You're like you're not proving anything. Consistency is the key here. You can go one, two. You don't have to come quite so far down. Let's try eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good job. Let's do the other side. You'll see my left side now. It's going to be stepping out with my left foot. I'm not trying to prove anything. The knee can go right to the floor or halfway down. Whatever most comfortable. Don't step so far forward that you're tripping and falling over. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Now what we want to do, we're done with that. We're getting through this. We want to do what's called like a, you're working your calves. You can have weights in your hand. You can actually have heavier weights in your hand. You're going to be coming up on the ball of your feet. Your feet are like, you know, maybe hip, hip width apart. And you're coming up on your toes. And it looks like this. One, two. I'll show you from the side or kind of at the back. So you're coming up on the balls of your feet. One, two. We're going to do about quite a few of those. Let's see how we feel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Let's do another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Good job. We can set these weights down. If you're going to grab your ankle weights, you can grab your ankle weights. I'm going to grab mine. Have another little drink of water. So I'm going to slip on. These are only one pound weights. You don't need any. Or up to five, whatever you're most comfortable with. Like I said, you're not you're not uh, proving anything. More of the key is the consistency, and we'll lay down on our side. We're going to do the outer leg first, so your legs are literally stacked, your hips are stacked. I like to be on my forearm. You can have this hand right in front of you just for balance. And let's go. Let's do at least sixteen. So let's try one. Heel out. Two. Okay, so let's begin. We'll, we'll start with 16 and see how we feel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Starting to feel a little bit. Let's do eight more. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I can start to feel that all the way down my leg. Let's switch to the other side. Let's do our left leg. <clears throat> Be on your forearm again. Legs are stacked. Arm in front for support, for balance. So you don't slip forward. One, heel out. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do that last eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's a good job that worked the outer leg. Now let's work the inner leg on the left leg. So I like to lay with that bottom leg straight. The front leg, the, the outside leg, is, is stacked like in, like just right in front of your front uh, quad, the left quad. So then I push my heel out with my left foot and let's try that 24 again. We'll do counts of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yep, the last eight. I can start to feel it on my inner thigh. I hope you guys are feeling that. Now we switch to the other side. The bottom leg, the right leg is straight. The left leg is in front. It's just the, this hand is for support. The bottom leg is straight. You push your heel up like you're flexing your foot. And let's do that same 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We made it to the cool down. We're going to actually start, because we're on the floor, let's start with our, it's like a lunge forward. It just stretches the hips out. So because I'm on this side, I'll put the left foot out. You can see that. Remove the weights of the other one. And then I lean forward, but that knee doesn't go past that toe. And you can feel it. You can feel it in your in your hip. So we'll do that for like 24 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Let's switch to the other side. I'm just going to get rid of this other weight. Doesn't bother being on, but I keep it off. Let's do that again. Remember, the knee doesn't go past the toe. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and my hands are behind my knee, not on my knee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. That's a good one to do because we just did the big stretch on the outer hips and the inner thighs. Good one to do. Now we're going to do a front forward hang. It's really good for the lower back. My, my feet are about shoulder width apart. And I'm literally going to just hold my elbows and I'm going to actually just gently, it's like a light bounce with the knee. And then we're going to do a little bit of swaying, a little bit of nodding on our head to make sure our jaws are loose, we're not clenching anything. So let's begin, we'll do the 24 here as well. So bounce the knees, just gently, 
Legs don't have to be locked tight to where you feel comfortable. Bend as much as you need to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now let's sway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to nod our head ever so gently and make sure our jaws are loose, our teeth aren't clenched. We're just hanging ever so loosely here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Come up slowly, 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 vertebrae at a time, one at a time. Head up. Now we're going to do what's called the quad stretch. You can grab a little piece of the wall. We want to um, grab our left leg. We're going to push our pelvis out. Our knee is pointed down right beside the other knee. Now use a wall for balance if you need it. Or hand on the hip. Or just down by your side. So I'm, I'm going to hold it for the start. For well, Let's try the 24 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now we go to the other side, the same thing. Use the wall if you need it. You can just be beside it and keep practicing. Getting your balance, you'll get stronger every day. Now I'm grabbing the right leg. Knee pointed down, pelvis is out, and put your hand on your hip or on the wall. It doesn't make any difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that's good job. So what we want to do is we're cooled right down. If you're not cooled down, you can do that cool down again. I, I'll add one more little stretch just for we did. I did do weight, so I want to do a little bit of a shoulder stretch. Um, so we're gonna put our arm right across our chest. We're gonna lock it in with. Just behind the right elbow, we'll lock in the left arm, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll pull it in nice, nice and gentle. It's a really good shoulder stress. I went sideways, I went upwards. I used the weights a little bit, so I like a little bit of a shoulder stretch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. And I feel I feel that's a nice stretch. So let's do the other side. Let's do the left arm, pulling it across the chest, locking it behind that elbow, and we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. You made it through the lower body workout. I hope you enjoyed that. As stated before, absolutely play the video again. If you want more, you can do that a couple of times as you feel fit. Um, remember to drink lots of water, stay hydrated. Consistency is the answer. I would recommend at least two or three times a week. I personally do everything like this every day. Um, but start small, start where you feel comfortable, and hope to see you in the next video. Ciao.